with 20 majors to his name and 165 tournament victories, there's never been a golfer like Jack Nicklaus. Sports Illustrated named him the individual male athlete of the century, and he's been dubbed the golfer of the century, as well as golfer of the millennium. The Ohio-born golfer was only 10 when he took up the sport in 1950 to assist his recovery from a mild bout of polio. He quickly became a junior champion and earned the nickname the Golden Bear. Aged just 16, he defeated a swag of professional golfers to take out the Ohio State Open, and he shot a 262 at the US Open four years later, coming second to Arnold Palmer. In 1962, Nicholas turned professional and was named Rookie of the Year after winning the US, Seattle and Portland Opens. His career went from strength to strength and he notched up a number of significant wins, taking home hundreds of thousands of dollars in prize money. Nicholas' playing style was highly unusual but very effective, combining a particularly long hit with exceptional putting skills. And he genuinely loved golf relishing the discipline and technique required to reach the pinnacle. In 1965 and 1966, Nicholas won the Masters, becoming the first golfer to take the title two years in a row. And in 1966, he became the youngest ever winner of the British Open, the one major tournament that had eluded him. It was a win that was particularly sweet. Of course, you know, you look back through the years and all the people who have won at St. Andrews and the great players and you just, you know, you try so hard to get your name on that same list, the people that have won at St. Andrews, and I just, uh, uh, I couldn't be happy. Nicholas said of his game, I never went into a tournament or round of golf thinking I had to beat a certain player. I had to beat the golf course. If I prepared myself for a major, went in focused, and then beat the golf course, the rest took care of itself. Although he was one of the top 10 highest earning golfers for 17 consecutive years between 1962 and 1978, Nicholas' career hit a snag in 1968. His wins became less frequent and he put on weight, which affected his stamina. The death of his father, Charlie, in 1970 helped him refocus and he realized he hadn't been giving his all to golf and had let his father down. The next year, victory at the PGA Championship made him the first golfer to win all four majors twice in a career. Altogether, his career spanned five decades. His final victory was at the 1986 Masters. The following day, 6,000 golfers submitted orders for the putter he used. Its manufacturers, McGregor Golf, had expected to sell just 5,000 over the whole year. Nicholas turned 50 in 1990 and joined the Champions Tour, a series of PGA events for older golfers. He quickly proved himself the most competitive seniors player, winning most of the events he played in. Nicholas was a boyhood hero to champion golfer Greg Norman, and Norman learned to play golf by reading Nicholas' book, Golf My Way. The pair played a challenge match in 1993 at a Norman design course in Hawaii. Twelve years later, 65-year-old Nicholas played his last competitive tournament, the Open Championship at St. Andrews. His final shot was a 15-foot birdie putt on the 18th green. In retirement, Nicholas has put his efforts into golf course design and now operates one of the largest golf design businesses in the world. More than 30 American states and 25 countries have Nicholas designed golf courses. He also owns a golf equipment business and several golf academies. There's never been a more competitive golfer than Jack Nicholas. As opponent Tom Weisskopf said wryly, Jack knew he was going to beat you. You knew Jack was going to beat you. And Jack knew that you knew that he was going to beat you.